Okay, you know what? Let's just, yeah, let's actually do the other thing and search the other mansion rooms. Hmm. Or maybe it's here that I'm thinking of. Hold on, let me check something. Huh. Hmm. As soon as I find it, you'll know what I mean. When I'm thinking like, huh, I could have sworn it was here. I think it is in this mansion, it's just not in this room. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh no sleeping on the job, gentlemen. See anything else? No? Okay. I think I know where to go now. Well, I know where to go. It's the only where to, only way to go. On. Jesus Christ, stop like stopping on me. You're doing well enough. Okay, let's keep going. Really? Dude, you had to, like, literally almost <laughs> ruin my entrance here. You could have literally have, like, literally have gotten me, like, killed there. What's that collar do? Why is it making that noise? It's the suicide collar. It sounds weird. Suicide collar? Yeah. We've got some other name, but, well, we just use them to monitor patients' heartbeats. If it drops too low, the alarm goes off and a crash team rushes in. And so does my crew, if you trigger one. <laughs> How do you like them apples, bats? Standing around in the... Oh, let's see... Ah! The West Wing. They'd be there now if they weren't busy knocking a little sense into cash. I'll tell you what. I won't spoil the surprise and let them know you're coming. <laughs> so that's another little, little detail you have to worry about. You have to worry about suicide callers now. If, and that's exactly what they just described. If you beat any of the Joker uh, goons with these things on them, they'll alert the other guards about their positioning. Like, oh, they'll start going, eh, eh, and start laughing and notifying the other Joker goons about, you know, all of that. So, um, yeah, you might want to deal with some of these Joker goons in a specific way, so that way you don't get all of their attention. So keep that in mind. Can't get through there. Can't get up there. <sighs> Gonna have to enter through here. Gotcha. Wait for it. And I think I hear I think I can hear it from here. Maybe. Anyway. 
Under the wreckage room. Keep a lookout for the bat. Yeah, great plan. Dang it! Dang it! Hey, someone help that baby up off the. Eh, shut up, Mark Hamill. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Oh. You know where to go from here exactly. Stand down. Stand down. Oh, yeah, man down rules of chain. Basically, it's every man for himself from now on.
Yeah, well, you're the last one. I'm dropping you. Don't worry, I'll cut you down. Fur. Anyway, yeah, that was kind of fun. I know. Just let me double check something. Okay. Watch. See, I told you those things were sharp. Thanks. Where did Doctor Young go? I told her to run. These guys came in looking for. Her. I told her to go to her office and hide. Does she keep her records there? I guess. She was pretty desperate to get in there. Her office is over there. How long ago was this? I need to find her notes before Joker gets his hands on them. 20 minutes, maybe more. What's so important about the notes? Joker wants them. That makes them important. Stay here. I'm going to find her. Not a problem. I'll try the radio, see if anyone else is around. Thanks, Cash. Okay, I get it, I get it. Sure, keep thinking that to yourself. But we both know how this song and dance will go. Batman will win, you will lose. It's rarely that any bad guys win, and you're one of the few that don't win. Granted, you win with a few casualties on your side, but still. Batman wins overall. There we go, and... For Pete's sakes... There we go. Another one? Can it be? No. There's no And this is Armadeus Arkham. Founded the Elizabeth Arkham Asylum for the criminally insane, naming it after his mother, whom he entrusted. Okay, maybe it wasn't named after him, but it was named in regards of his last name. Whom he enthusiasm as treatment for dementia. Who he euthanized whom he euthanized as treatment for her dementia, building it on the old grounds of his family historic mansion on the outskirts of Gotham. Automedeus personally treated his first patient, Martin Mad Dog Hawkins, who had killed Amadeus' wife and daughter after uh, administering fatal electro, electro, electro shock treatments to Hawkins. Amadeus lost all grip on his sanity and was admitted to his own institution. Poor guy. He's no longer around, but he's in spirit in terms of other things. <sighs> I'm just, I'm finally glad that he's starting to get a little bit nervous in terms of his vocal range now. At least, at least he can shut up now, but that's something else. There we go. I was like wondering, there had to be a way in, right? Here we go. Anything else up here? No. Uh, okay, just double checking. It's not gonna open. Guru, I see the gun. Yeah, you said that ten minutes ago. You can be the one to tell him I'm not gonna. It'll be open any second. Damn it! You're an idiot. Joker's not gonna be happy, and you know what that means. Quiet. Just shut up. <laughs> Now that is skill, ladies and gentlemen. Somewhat. Joker's thugs were trying to get into that office. It looks like they couldn't get through the main door. Got to find a different way in. Okay, I was like wondering, what was happening to you, gentlemen? Well, he was starting to get like crazy. Like, <laughs> he was starting to go insanely crazy there. But okay, thank God that happened. 
Here's another little thing that you can miss that's a little bit harder to see. Raz al Ghul. Or Raish. Raish al Ghul or Raz al Ghul? I prefer Raz, but I think I hear people say it's supposed to be pronounced Raish. But whatever, whatever. As you can see, this is an interesting character that will be used later, but I'll talk about him maybe and read his thing later, later. Yeah, that's a different thing for... Uh, that's a different story for a different day. And... Open. Open says me, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Yeah, that's disgusting. Literally, that's really disgusting. Like, look at that. Like, literally, there's some rats here that have been eaten. Ugh. Let's see. Um, this way? Right? Let me... Hmm. And kick the door open. Kick it. Kick it. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Batman. Oh, there's another little thing I can click, but I'll get to that in a second. The only question now is, who opened it? Maybe we should do a scan. Whoever opened it knew the combination. Who do you think? Could have been Dr. Young. Let's see. Good. Dr. Young got to her notes before Joker. She's taken them to hide somewhere. I need to follow her and find out where she put them. Yeah, but first... There we go. Black Mask. A character who actually gets used up in one of the Arkham games in Origins. If anyone doesn't know, Origins is kind of the black sheep of the Arkham games. It's not bad, it's just less than average and has its fair share of issues, but that's a different story altogether. I'll get to... I will play Arkham Origins at some point, but not now, not now. So, just, just in case you, anyone wants my opinion on Arkham Origins, there you go. My feelings towards the Arts Come games real quick, just to list them off, I guess, as, you know, just my own opinion. Uh, I like Arkham Asylum really a lot because it's nostalgic for me, but I think Arkham City is the best one of the series, I think. Arkham, Arkham Knight is the best one with the best mechanics, I believe, but and also the best looking. But it also has the issue of its story being lackluster compared to the other games. At least to me, it feels that way. Other than that, uh, I think, for me, I think my favorite is Arkham City, if I have to be perfectly honest. Although, Arkham Asylum always gets my particular vote because it's like, oh, I'm nostalgic for it, and it has, even though it doesn't have as much as the other games do, do it still has enough for me to think I really love the game, uh, regardless of all the other features the other games have. So, I don't know. I'm a sucker for that type of thing, so I don't know. Hold up. Oracle, I'm on Dr. Young's trail. I've had to calibrate the scanner to only show recent prints. If I, I was like her, wondering. I will find her or the notes. I hope it works. Just so you know, the GCPD found one of Joker's bombs downtown. It was full of marzipan and kittens. As I thought, it's just a twisted diversion. The real action's on Arkham. Could be there could be like one real bomb. You never know. But still. You know, it's never like bad to not like be prepared. So I don't know, it seems like as if it should be. Are we positive that he, we're positive that there's nothing that happens here? Okay. Oh. Raw kick to the face. 
I love kicking people in the face. That's fun. Give me a second. I know I shouldn't do this, but it's still fun, honestly. So give me a second. And... Skadoosh. Anyway, let's uh, move on from this. And their scarecrows little biles. I might listen to them too, but I'm, I don't know. If I start doing that, I have to give an excuse for the other characters. I don't do it with Joker's biles because we're listening to him already a lot. So I think like listening to Crocodile or Scarecrow is technically better than nothing, I guess. I don't know. I will say it is weird that Dr. Young keeps touching a good amount of surfaces. It's like, even though I do touch other surfaces as well, I don't think like touching... Like, this amount of surfaces is technically, like, the actual way I would do it, but eh, whatever. It's like, yeah. Hmm. It's like, what, are you limping or something? It's like, kind of weird, but whatever. Let's try to end this off by finding the actual notes. You know? At least try. Like, seriously, look at this. She keeps on touching every side of the left side of the wall. Like, was she extremely injured? I I'm not sure whether or not that's the case or not. Oh, wait, hold up. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, hold up. Yep, and... Hold up. Hold up, and... There we go. I was like, ah, I could have sworn there was one of those things here. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Like, just the Joker thing. It, well, I'm pretty sure there's a bio thing somewhere because I know there's another bio of another character here somewhere. I don't think she went upstairs, at least not by my estimation. Huh. Maybe she went up. Oh, maybe she went downstairs. Looks like it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. And apparently the I found Dr. Young's formula. The gel can be used as a burning material. Because look. It's never this simple with him. Seriously, how how does your explosive gel work that way? Huh. <laughs> so, 
As you can see, Batman just coughed, which means, you guessed it, there's going to be a bit of an issue here, ladies and gentlemen. Can you guess what the issue is, ladies and gentlemen? I'm pretty sure it's very much apparent, because now I can't access my gravel hook, and the f thing is gone. And as soon as we turn the corner... Let's test how far this goes, ladies and gentlemen. And zoom, sam, boom, straight to the moon. Yeah, I really don't think I'm going to be able to finish this all in five minutes or so. So I'm just going to stop here. I'll do the next... I'll do this next part in the next episode, so sorry if I have to, you know, blue ball you a bit, but I'll see y'all next time for the next video. Until then, sorry, Narbabots, take care. Whew. Get ready, Batman, to face another nightmare.